Uh, there is also uh, the effects of, uh, of Philippine independence, meaning now uh, the immigration quota is raised from 50 to 100 a year. And then after that, uh, uh, 200 a year. And this goes on from 1945 until 1965. So our community begins to change. We spoke English because our parents only wanted to speak English. And we were accepted. We went to the parties. We played the games. We played football. We were on the teams. We went to the Saturday night dances. But today, you can look back and you see that Maybe we were playing a game. We were playing a game because we wanted to be accepted. And maybe the ones that were the real Filipinos were those that took pride in themselves and spoke the language, ate the food, and took the hits because they wanted to be Filipinos. We would go to these Filipino dances and gatherings and so on, but part of my father and I said, well, Don, me, and my brother, you were born in this country. <clears throat> um, you were Americanized, therefore you will be American and you will forget about your Filipino aspect of your heritage. Um, so I think he's kind of ambivalent about that. And I remember asking him many times, please teach me Tagalog. He said, no, you don't want to learn Tagalog, learn English. I believe that the Filipinos in Louisiana are very unique in the sense that they are very proud of their heritage. The eight to 10 generations are still a part of the Filipino society. Our country was peopled by immigrants. And when we're speaking about the plantation system and the Filipinos, they were a group that settled in the plantations. And the important thing is that it, the Filipinos helped to develop Hawaii the way it is today. And since Hawaii is part of the United States, it helped to develop the United States. And so it is important to teach them history from whence they came so they can understand the things that are happening today and what, uh, how they can be able to survive as individuals tomorrow. It's also important in that as individuals, as Filipino Americans, that we give something to this country. Um, America has much to be able to benefit from that which we as Filipino Americans have. Just these few minutes, more than 400 years of a rich tapestry has been touched. Touched only through 1965, the beginning of the fourth immigration wave of Filipinos to the United States. There is a lot more to tell of Filipino American history, and so the story of Filipino Americans 
continues.